Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna jump straight into this look. I'm gonna start off by filling in my brows and I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which is my favorite. I seriously try so many different brow products and I always go back to this one. Also, I did apply primer all over. I just wasn't recording when I did it. And now we're gonna apply eye primer. On the eyes, we're going to be using the Too Faced Just Peachy Palette. I love this palette. I love the colors. The neutrals are right up my alley. And all of the shades are also matte, which I love. I'm going to start off by using that light nude shade in my crease. And I'm just going to blend that back and forth. Next, I'm picking up that nude peachy shade. And I'm going to work that on the outer corners of my eyes. And then the leftover shadow, I'm going to blend towards the center crease. Then I'm picking up the super dark brown one, and that's going to go all over my eyes. And of course, don't forget to highlight underneath your brows. I'm using that light shade right there. And I love highlighting with a matte color. Off camera, I did a wing liner using a gel eyeliner. This is my favorite. I haven't done a wing liner in so long, by the way. And then I'm just applying a brown eyeliner to my waterline to really smoke things out. And of course, we are gonna apply tons of mascara. This is one of my favorites. And then after that, I will be applying my false lashes. If you haven't tried the Rihanna Fenty Beauty Foundation, what are you waiting for? This is the best foundation I have tried so far. I just, I love the finish. I love the coverage. You can build it up. You have to work in sections on your face because it does dry pretty quickly. So what I'm doing is just applying it with the brush first. And this is the brush from the Fenty Beauty Collection. And then I like to go over those spots with a beauty blender to really blend everything out. Before concealer, I'm gonna do a little bit of color correcting. This is a peachy shade, and peach is really great for covering up dark circles or any dark spots that you might have, like bruising type colored spots. And then on top of that, once I'm done blending it out, I am gonna go in with a concealer. I'm basically gonna apply the concealer in the same areas that I did the color corrector, and then I'm gonna blend it all out with a beauty blender. We are going to be doing cream contouring and I'm using one of the matchsticks from Fenty Beauty. I'm just applying this everywhere where I want to contour and then I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender. I love blending a cream contour out with a beauty blender. I feel like it looks a lot more natural once everything is blended out as opposed to blending it out with a brush. We're going to be setting that cream contour with a powder and then I'm also going to be setting my concealer using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is my first time trying it out. Well, I've been trying it out for a few days now and I really, really, really love it. The 
Here we're just bronzing up our skin and then I'm going to put some blush on top of that. How pretty is this highlight? I love a good gold highlight. I'm applying this on my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose, basically anywhere that I want to glow. To finish up on the eyes, I'm applying those same peachy and nude colors that I used on the eyes on my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna be using this Sheer Glow Powder from Laura Mercier. It's kind of like to set your foundation and it is amazing. It doesn't mess up your makeup, it just goes on so sheer, you don't even feel like you have anything on, but it sets your foundation beautifully. And then of course, I have to add some setting spray and I've been obsessed with this rose toner. It's super hydrating and I just love the way roses smell. I like to add mascara to my lower lashes once my setting spray has just settled down so that it doesn't get messed up. And now we are at the finish line. I am doing my lipstick. I like to start off with my favorite lip liner. This is by Kat Von D and it's in the shade Lolita. I basically wear this like every day. But on top of that, I'm going to be using one of the Anastasia matte lipsticks in the shade Peachy. This is the makeup that I did for my birthday dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, love you guys.